Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hello if you are new. My name is Jess and today I'm going to be walking you through my minimal reading tracker. I have two other reading tracker videos on this channel and I also have it included in my second brain. However, this is my most up-to-date reading tracker featuring all the latest notion features that i use and i honestly think it's my best one so let's jump into the template when you first duplicate this template it will be blank there won't be any books included the years will be there ready for you to start filling in but otherwise it will be blank i'm using my version just so you can see what it looks like with content inside of it and I'll walk you through the main dashboard that you can see right here. We have the menu down the side and we also have a log new book option. This is a button that when you click it, it will pop up a menu that will let you just start instantly adding a new book. The next view is your currently reading views. As you can see here, I get a bit sidetracked and start new books all the time. This will show any book you're currently reading, the author, the series that it is attached to, and your page progress, both in a page exact number view and the progress bar. There is also an up next view, which will show any books that you've marked as up next that you really want to read next. So basically your TBR, but like your crucial TBR. And then also a paused view, because I find sometimes I will stop a book, I won't go back to it for a bit, but I don't want to forget about it. That's what this view is for. We then have a yearly progress tracker. This will show how many books you're currently reading, how many books you've read for the year, and your total pages read. All of that is automatic and will pull in itself. You don't have to do anything with it. The only thing you have to do is update the data as you're loading your books and this will all work itself. You also have to attach it to the yearly tracker, but I'll show you how that works in just a second. Further down, we have the full library list. So I have this both in a table view because there is quite a lot of information to track. There is a visual view, which will show you your page covers for these books. I haven't loaded too many just so that it doesn't lag you too much, but you can change this or you can just load more with this button here and it will load more of your library for you. We then have our full TBR list. So all the books we have not currently read. We have a paused view again, so we don't need to see that. I have a status view. So this one's sort of easy to just drag them around if they change, if you would prefer this kind of view. You can also show the covers for these if you wish by clicking these three dots, going to board view and then card preview, selecting page cover. I haven't done this just to keep it a bit more clean, but if you would like to see them that's how you can do it we have a complete view so this will pull in all the books that you've currently read the author again the series that it is attached to and the time it took you to read this book this again is a formula that will work out itself based on your start date and finish date of reading that book and then of course your rating there is then a five star view which will filter just your favorite five star books and then your top faves because there are some that are just more elite than a five star and you just want to have them separate. So if we pop back up and go through all the pages included with this template, the first one, which is new and not in any of my other templates, is a mobile view. As you can see here, it looks very plain. I will pop up a side view of what it actually looks like on mobile. But it's so if you're on the go, you want to quickly update what you're reading, update your pages read, you can do that from here. You can also see you're up next here so that if you want to start reading one of these books, you can easily do that. Again, just click into one, change the status, and you're good to go. There is also the full TBR, just in case you've changed your mind about what you want to read next. We then have the yearly archive view. Yours will be slightly different because it will only be 2025 to 2028, I think. Mine is obviously goes back a little bit further because I've had this template for a long time. This is what pulls into that first yearly tracker that I showed you. So it'll show you how many books you've read and how many pages total. I don't have the currently reading on this view because it's not really as necessary. Generally, you're looking back at your past years. We then have one of my favorite pages, which is the series tracker. This is crucial to keep you on track with series, especially series that are not completed yet and you're waiting for books to come out all the time. For example, 
A series that is completed is obviously noted as complete, like The Shepherd King. You can click into it. This will automatically pull the genres and the author based off the books that you have added into here. So if you wanted to add another book, you just click that little cross, find the book that you want to add and click it. If you haven't added it yet to your library, you could also create it from this view. These books will then pull in the series type, the serial and the genre and the author as mentioned. Within the books themselves, so I'll click into One Dark Window just so you can see, there is a lot of information that you can fill out. So you'll do fiction, non-fiction, the format of the book, so whether this is paperback, hardback, audiobook, graphic novel, etc. I skipped over the start here, so we'll go back to author, of course, status, rating, which all makes sense, and genre. All the genres that I have will be included in the template and you can add any more that you wish to. It's obviously not all of them because this is so unique to your own reading taste, so it's very easy to add new genres. We'll see that when we get to the genre page. This is where you bookmark the, the page you are currently on and the length is obviously how long the book is. And this is how the progress tracker will work out how far through a book you are. The reading time is of course start date, finish date, and then there is a formula again that will work out your reading time for you. I've also added a times read property. So you can add if you've read it once, twice, more times, however many you do. And then here's the important part for this page, the series section. I've also now added these into little drop downs. So if you don't wanna see the other data, you don't have to, you can just close them down. So series title, The Shepherd King, serial series, duology. This is book number one. So this will then create Create a display that says book number one in the series. And while we're here, I may as well show you these also come with a summary section where you can add the book cover and the description of the book. You can add any thoughts, quotes, and notes to the book that you wish to. Again, we'll see this in its own individual page. The only thing I want to note is this para section will not be included with the standalone reading tracker because this is part of my second brain. If you want more info on my second brain, I'll link it up below. I have now an ultimate original and minimal version of the second brain, so it should be able to suit absolutely everyone. I have made a status for ongoing, like you can see here, I don't even know if Throne of Glass is ongoing to be honest, and Powerless is now completely complete. So you can just click them to update them as you go. There is other views of course, we've got the ongoing view. So this is for any A series that aren't complete or series that you have not finished. So it's both filters. So some of these aren't exactly series that are still being written, but you haven't finished them. There is then a red section, so you can see all of your completed series in one area. And then there is a list view just for those people who maybe aren't as visual and would rather see it in a table format. We then have the list and challenges page, which is new. And this is again, only included in my second brain reading tracker. So if you want this, you can now get it with the minimal reading tracker. I love this. I've only used it as you can see for monthly reading challenges, but if you were part of a book club, it would work for this as well. I'll show you January for me because this was just the best month. So you would originally mark this as not started or active as you're planning it, add your cover, do whatever type it is. So for me, this was just my own personal reading challenge. You could do a book list, book club, anything. Your own start and finish date, you can choose what this is. You don't have to do it by month. This is just how I prefer to do it. And then as you would with the series tracker, you just add in any books that you want into this challenge. I've also made the view show whether the book is read reading up next, especially for when you're starting the challenge so you know I don't want to add this book I've already read it again this will give you a progress bar based on how many books you've read out of your challenge and the progress label will also update itself automatically these are based off the statuses so as soon as you mark a book to read they will update themselves there is then a template included where you can add any notes and thoughts that you had about how this challenge went what the books were like anything you like and then all the books from this challenge will be displayed in this view at the bottom also should have mentioned on the dashboard when you have a challenge active it will show right here so I literally just popped January back as an active and now you can see it showing up here. This is how it will look for you when you've got a challenge ongoing. It will give you the date. It will let you know all of the books within that challenge and it will let you know your progress. We then have the genre and trope gallery. And as mentioned, this will be populated for you. The books won't be included, but the genres will be here. Add any additional ones that you need, delete any that don't suit you. There is of course, again, a list of you if you would rather see it in that way. And all that you would do is click 
click into a genre and then there are the books added here. As you can see, fantasy, quite a big genre for me. There is a template automatically that will pull in all of the books attached to the genre. I tend to add genres as I'm doing the book itself, but you can click this and add any additional books and link them into the genre that you need to from here if that's easier for you. So when you add a new one, the template will populate, all the books will populate as they get added in. There's also this label that is automatic and it will update based on how many books you've added. So you don't need to do anything with this other than add the books to the genre. We then have the notes and quotes page. This one you can see, I kind of use the quotes, I haven't used the notes, but I've left it in in case that is your preferred method of working. As you add notes into the books themselves, they will show here. Then the book quotes, these are grouped by the book itself. The way that I do this is I will title it by the page. A lot of this data again won't be included but I'll show you the other version in a second. I just wanted you to see it with the content filled in. But basically you add the detail here. I've also done it in the description down below. You don't have to do both and you may have noticed on my dashboard I do have a color coding way of highlighting quotes within books and that's why these are in different colors. I will then also mark who it's spoken by and it will be attached to the book it came from. So just a quick view this is the notes and quotes from the minimal reading tracker itself when you add a new quote this is the data that you will get not quite the same as it was shown before but very similar you can pin it if you want to keep it as a favorite you can archive it if you want to get rid of it you can add a url if that is relevant for you you could then also add who it was spoken by and add the detail this is exactly the same as the other one and here you can add the year that you like marked this quote so that will attach to your reading tracker here is a quick overview just to show you what it looks like blank this is what you get when you duplicate the template yourself. As mentioned here is my legend for the way that I categorize my highlights. Obviously change these. If you don't want this just delete this little section. It's not crucial. We then have this complete page as you can see for this month I haven't finished anything which is shocking. This will show all of your recent books that you've finished within the last month relative to today's date. So that populates automatically. You don't have to do anything. Then we have a rating section so you can see all of your different books by rating whether that's your faves five star four star dnf etc and then down below is the full library of your completed books again in visual or table format the very last page is the author page and this is not something i've made the most of so it is quite plain but basically this is where all of your authors live the total books that that author has written as far as your library is concerned obviously this isn't all the books they've written ever it's just the ones you have loaded and this is based off adding the author into the book you can add any new authors as you wish again this is going to be blank and will not be populated when you duplicate the template yourself and there's also a gallery view just because I like seeing how many books I have by certain authors. If you wanted to add cover images to these, make them a bit more personal, you absolutely could. To just go to these three stars, gallery, do card preview, page cover, and then add page covers to these authors. Again, it's just not a page I use, so I personally have not done this. And that is absolutely everything within this template. There is an entire library page, but that is literally just where this database lives so don't delete it or you will lose basically everything so it is quite a simple template it's very easy to navigate and it's very easy to use if you have any questions at all about how this template works please let me know in the description box it is now available on my etsy store as my minimal reading tracker as mentioned i also now have a minimal second brain tracker and a minimal media tracker the media one is very similar to this in style it's just for tv and film rather than books if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really, really supports my channel. I hope this was helpful. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.